friends upsc civils mains examination is just 2 weeks away so i am making this video to tell you some last minute tips using which you can score more today's video in today's video i am going to tell you some 10 names or 10 points or 10 key words that you can use in the polity and governance answers to score more marks whatever knowledge you have already gained definitely you will be presenting it in the mains examination gs2 answers but along with your answer if you mention th these eight to nine words the key words you can definitely improve your score by few marks in the overall gs2 paper similarly i will discuss gs3 and gs4 in the next videos friends one thing that you can use is national commission to review the working of constitution you may be knowing that in 2002 2002 ncrwc has released its report basically friends in 2000 government of india constituted a commission called ncrwc the idea is that by 2000 almost 50 years of working of the constitution happened so based on the experience we gained government asked this particular commission to make to suggest actually to suggest amendments required for the constitution as society has evolved polity has evolved economy has evolved so based on these changes definitely we need to make certain amendments in the constitution so those amendments are suggested by this commission friends this commission you can use everywhere because see this commission actually is a 11 member committee the chairman chairman is Justice Venkata Chalaya, who was Chief Justice of India, and also the members of the committee, the composition observed, you know, there was Secretary General of Lok Sabha, there was, you know, a Chief Editor of the Statesman, and there was, uh, there are some, there were some MPs, and even an Ambassador for USA, India Ambassador was there. So, it was a high level composition, high level committee. So, whatever suggestions they made in their report, it's a very big report, almost nearly 2000 pages of uh, report was given so they have elaborately discussed on almost all the important articles important parts of constitution of india so definitely whatever suggestions you are writing in the gs2 answer for anything in the constitution of india either parliament or election commission or cag or panchayat local governments or you know in the uh, fundamental rights or dsp fundamental whatever whatever question has come in the answer you're writing if you want to give some suggestions you just mention the name of ncwrc definitely it will enrich your answer similarly friends second arc see just like how you used ncwrc for anything in polity for the governance for the governance definitely you can use second arc see second arc was also constituted in around 2005 2005 and friends second administrative reforms commission was constituted mainly to suggest the government on various changes or measures required to make the governance transparent responsive you know uh, uh, to ensure good governance at all levels district level state level panchayat level central level so the requirements mentioned for the commission for second arc by the government is very broad so they have addressed almost everything e-governance you know uh, social capital human capital transference in governance ethics in governance how to combat terrorism almost everything is there in second ARC regarding the governance so i can tell you without any doubt that whatever question comes in the governance you can definitely mention second ARC my advice is you try to remember just the names of the reports actually second arc released some reports in 2006 they released some three reports 2007 there is some reports overall they released 15 reports 15 reports you just remember the names of these reports and if you want you can just read the summary of the report but no need to go in, into the details of the report for example if the question is about the e-governance while writing the answer whatever suggestions you are giving just mention the name 11th report if it is e-governance it is in 11th report for example if the question is about the local governance local government you can mention sixth report you can say as per the sixth report of second arc it is mentioned and then you can write your own suggestion regarding the local governance 
sixth report. And then for example, friends, not only in GS2, actually, even second IRC is used in GS4 also. In general studies 4, in the ethics paper also, they use the fourth report, ethics in the governance, fourth report can be used. Even in the GS3, internal security for terrorism, you can use, you know, eighth report. Eighth report is how to combat terrorism. So in that way, I would suggest if you mention this word in your answer, it will enrich your answer. Friends, Law Commission. Law Commission, Law Commissions were, uh, you know, constituted right from 1950s, 1955 first Law Commission and the last Law Commission was 21st Law Commission. So 21 Law Commissions were constituted. Even recently, last year, 22nd Law Commission, almost they want to make, still they are finalizing the members of the Commission. So each Law Commission, each of these 21 Law Commissions, in order to buy heart, the numbers of Law Commission, all these things, but each Commission released many reports. For example, 21st Law Commission also, released almost 10 reports. For example, I remember something like 268th, 268th report of the Law Commission that is actually on the criminal justice reforms, particularly about the bail and what conditions bail have to be given, these kind of things. So, similarly, there will be a report on the Uniform Civil Code, Article 44. There, there were reports on some other issues. Basically, Law Commission is constituted time to time by the government to advise the government on the legal reforms. See, Friends, this is constituted to, to measure to suggest the amendments in constitution. This is constituted to suggest measures to improve the administration, governance. These are constituted for legal reforms. You study the law commission and study the various acts, laws, various laws of the India, and whatever amendments or reforms are required, they will suggest them to the government. It's like advisory advisory committee. So law commission reports you can mention, for example, if you want to mention something about the uh, any law again as the sexual harassment of women in the public place or in the workplace, you can mention you, if you do not know the number of law commission, just mention law commission report also mentioned these suggestions and you write your own suggestions because I am sure whatever suggestions you are writing definitely are there in the law commission. I can tell you with confidence. So this is the next thing you can use. Similarly, friends, parliamentary committee report you can definitely mention. For example, you know parliamentary committee, I mean to say only standing committee, standing committee reports. Of course, parliamentary committee, ad hoc committees are also there. Ad hoc committees are there, but ad hoc committees are constituted only for a specific purpose and after that is dissolved. But parliamentary standing committees, which are continuous, which are permanent committees, you know, those committees regularly release reports on different departments. For example, among the parliamentary standing committee, there are three famous committees on finance side, you know, the public interest committee the Public Accounts Committee, Estimates Committee, leaving them aside, there are 24 departmental standing committees. There is a committee on health and family welfare, there is a committee on defense, external affairs, Al almost all department there is a parliament standing committee. What they do, they constantly monitor the work done by so, so and so ministry, so as department and give suggestions. So whatever suggestions you want to mention in your polity governance answers regarding any department or any ministry, you can mention that parliamentary standing committee report also mentioned so and so suggestions like that. Like that you can enrich your answer by using this word parliamentary standing committee. And friends, very important, you may be knowing almost every ministry of India releases annual report. So in the annual report, what does the ministry tell? For example, the defense ministry in this annual report 2018-19. Definitely, it, it will say what are the various steps they have taken, various measures they have taken, various initiatives they have started. Also, they will mention their vision. For example, the annual report of uh, Ministry of External Affairs will mention their vision of how they want to tackle China or what is their uh, vision on Southeast Asia, how they want to play bigger role or make SARC more famous among the regional groups, their idea towards Africa. So, in that way, not only external affairs, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So every ministry annual report, you can mention annual report of so and so ministry also suggested their vision and then you can write your vision of that department. F Friends, see, all these keywords you can use without any kind of prior preparation. That's why I'm calling this as last minute tips. You can just mention that name and write your own ideas. 
For example, this one I am sure most of you would anyhow prepare. You will anyhow collect the important Supreme Court judgments. If the question is about the sexual harassment of a workplace, you will mention Vishaka guidelines of Supreme Court. If it is about emergency, Article 356, you will mention the Bombay case, SR Bombay case. If it is about the minority, women minority rights, you will mention Shah Bano case or basic structure, you will mention um, case on the Bharati case or Miran War Mills case. So, some, for example, in uh, Article 14 or 19 or 21 fundamental rights you will mention the right to privacy k puttu swami case so like that supreme court cases if you mention in the answer for example if you want right uh, discuss somewhere about the ninth schedule you mention kohilo case like that if you mention supreme court judgments it will enrich your answer it will give you more marks in gs2 answers Friends, then some independent reports, for example, international reports, not only the World Bank or IMF, there are many international bodies which will time to time release reports. You can uh, study them in the current affairs. In the Google also, just search important committee reports, international reports in the last one year, uh, important for UPSC, and you collect some 10 to 12 reports. You, you collect those reports which have discussed on hot issues, important issues, mention them in the examination. Even friends, private bodies also, not only the international or intergovernmental bodies the private organizations McKinsey uh, Deloitte these kind of bodies also release some reports for example McKinsey has released a report on how to increase employment of India how to increase the GDP growth of India so like that Deloitte also released some reports even CAG friends even even CAG also CAG also controller auditor general also as they continuously audit uh, the health department education department government schools hospitals various things they time to time release some reports so in the current affairs you just see what CAG audited in the last few years very important departments which you think uh, can come to the examination broad departments very important departments and mention their reports also in the examination no need to buy hard the report just mention the name that's all and you write your own answer Similarly, friends, Constitution of India, of course, when you are writing GS2 answers, you, you should try to mention important articles. You have to remember the fundamental rights, DPSPs, and you have to use them whenever possible. Important articles of Parliament, important articles of UPSC Election Commission, you have to mention them. For example, if the question is on healthcare, you have to mention Article 47. If the question is about the scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, their economic advancement or educational advancement, you have to mention Article 46. If the question is about the uh, panchayats, panchayats, mention Article 40. If the question is about the MSMEs or cottage industries, mention Article 43. If even the GS1 also, GS1 also, art and culture, you can mention Article 49. Uh, conservation of art and culture of India. Even the GS paper 2, international relations, IR, I would say in any IR answer, somewhere you mention Article 51. Article 51, the peace, international peace, India stands for international peace. You can mention these things, friends. Like that, you try to use the articles of constitution, it will enrich your answer. Enrich your answer. Friends, Debates of Constitutional Assembly, no need to re read all debates. There are many volumes of debates. See, Constitutional Assembly, they first sat in 1946, I think December 9th, December 9th or so. And the last sitting was in 1950, 1950, I think uh, some 24th January or so. So, in these years, they had several sittings. They, they have discussed, debated, debated on various issues. You no need to buy out all these things. Just mention, for example, see, you are writing answer on emergency. You want to say that Article 356 is being misused for political gain. You just mentioned that even in the Constitution Assembly debates, while discussing, while debating Article 356, Ambedkar said that it is a dead letter. Or you can say, if you do not know this, you can say they have, uh, um, they actually thought that Article 356, there is a very high chance of being misused. Or when discussing about Article 32, Again, they said that it is heart and soul of the constitution. Or you can mention that in the constitution assembly debates, when article 32 debate has come, they discussed that is a very important article without which there is no meaning for fundamental rights because it makes the fundamental rights justiciable. Like that, about election commission, for example, about CAG, about finance commission, something you mentioned that in constitution assembly debates also, they discussed its importance. That's all. Even if you do not know, just write something mentioning in the name. Friends, then, you know, there is national commission for almost everything. 
on women registration commission sc st bcs even national commission for protection of child rights so you make a list of national commission when the question is about that aspect mention that national commission on this aspect national commission women has suggested so and so uh, reforms suggested so and so measures you mention that mention that okay and then friends india has got a national policy on various things we have the reason why i am saying policy is an act a normal act will be very specific you cannot write your own ideas but policy is very broad for example if you look at national policy on health or national uh, national policy on education or national policy on women almost every aspect of women every aspect of education of health will be mentioned in the policy somewhere just mention the name if you want to broadly go through the side headings of the policy mention them in the examination because it's important documents important documents because these documents are finalized after putting them in the public and then redraft again and again consult consult various bodies finally they make it known so it's a very broad thing broad document friends i want to tell you one thing for the students who are writing upsc mains in the next two weeks in january january uh, 7th who are writing the mains examination we are conducting a free examination on december 28 29 30 just like upsc mains you'll have essay exam on one day one day gs 1 and 2 another three and four and evaluation will be done on december 31st itself and by january 1st the evaluated copies will be sent to you and each of you will be contacted over the phone over the phone the evaluator will discuss with you elaborately what changes you have to make the minor changes the last minute changes major changes will not be told the minor last minute changes will be advised to you accordingly you can make small improvements which can add some three to four marks in each paper so overall you can increase 15 marks 15 marks is like a very big game changer you know about the mains and friends friends if somebody wants to write offline come to center we have centers in hyderabad see sarachandra ice academy has got uh, center hyderabad vijayawada we have offices there you can come and write or online you can write anywhere and you can uh, send us regarding any details you can contact you can call this number regarding more details on this and friends we are giving actually original upsc answer sheets the problem is most of the students write in the a4 sheets no you can practice anywhere but we generally give the original upsc answer sheet which is not a4 the size is not like a4 the width is more than a4 height is less than a4 margins are slightly different so if you if you write on this kind of answer sheets you will get the real time experience you will get the real time experience you will know how many words how fast you can write how to fill two three pages you can understand that that's why we are giving you on sheet so our friends you have register actually register and then you write the examination as i told you evaluation is done on the very next day and we will on the call we will give personal advice also as i told you it can improve few marks 10 to 12 marks overall among all the papers and even your marks are only comparison but don't take this comparison seriously even you score less marks still you can increase the marks very easily based on your mindset on the day of the examination friends all the best take care thank you